Hey y'all, it's your boy Dark on Hunters Dog coming at you. What was so extra husky today? <laughs> If anything, welcome to my channel. We got another Nelly tutorial for you today. And yes, I know you see the material. I bring it to you every week. Come on. Oh, this is giving. If anything, yes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe honey, and share. Because sharing is caring, and that's the only caring we like in this household. Okay, so bloop. All right, y'all. So as you saw in the beginning, this is the set we're going to be doing. So this is kind of like a chrome half and half. This is my New Orleans set. So you guys will be seeing this after New Orleans. I'll be also showing you my New Orleans makeup as well that I'm going to be doing. But this set was to go to that look. But ain't this so pretty? And we're going to do the same on the other hand. So yes, let's go ahead and get into it, honey. Let's get into it, honey. So we're going to go ahead and do three on camera. I did two here and then the full set, which this is really cute. So I got my lamp. And so I show you how the lamp. These are the two powders. So these are chrome powders. I bought these off of Amazon, like when I first started buying stuff for nails off of Amazon. So these are two of the powders. This is like a light pink and this is silver. So we're going to be using that, set that aside. And I like to use these little kind of like makeup eyeshadow little thingies. I bought like a little set of these and I like to use these and whatever. When I use one side, I take these off and then save the other side because I'm not wasting stuff. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the first part of it and pull my lamp out. So the first part of this design, this is a really quick and easy design. So I like to take the Beatles Gel Polish Foundation Base Gel to kind of just create the shape. And this is what I use to apply my chrome powders as well. So since this is going to be kind of like a French tip style, I'm just going to go ahead and do the, do the shape. Like if you watched my past video... You know, I like a good, when I do French tips, I like to make mines more triangle than round. I like mines to have kind of like that triangle look to it. That's just personal preference for me. You know, whatever floats your boat, it's your boat. You know, you're the one driving it, okay? Whatever floats your yacht, honey, okay? Whatever floats your yacht. But this is what floats my yacht. You know, this is my tea. This is what I'm sipping. Not everybody might want to sip it, but that's how I sip it. You know, I don't really like the round too much. I just feel like it just looks weird of my hand. I mean, it's still cute. It's still cute. Don't get me wrong. I can rock any nail set, whether it's dusty, crusted, or rusted. It's going to look cute on me because you know I'm that boy but I'm beside the boy anyways yeah I like to do this shape so you do whatever shape you want hell if you want to do square I don't know how you do that but you I'm pretty sure y'all can figure it out you're smart individual so we're gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 and we're pretty much done with that y'all so put that to the soy put that to the side but how you guys been did any of you guys go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras? Because I did. I go every year with my God family. And baby, we had a blast. Okay? A blast! Yes, indeed. I'm going to also put like some... Put like maybe some snippets. I don't know. I don't know if I should add snippets. But I'm probably going to add little snippets from when we was down there and it was so fun it was so fun y'all like for real for real and i'm still drinking the video i'm drinking on some pink whitney just put some ice and that's it one thing you learn on this channel we drink liquor straight here okay <laughs> we drink liquor straight okay that's the only thing straight we like in this house okay so we cured that so, how I did it is I put this side is silver, that side is pink. So, how you, as you can see here, 
you got silver on one side and then pink on this side. So what I like to do first is I like to, let me bring this over just a little bit. Bring the silk, bring the pink. So I just dip into the pink, tap it a little, and then just rub it in. Just kind of gently press and rub it in. And you're just going to put that on half the nail. See how I did it halfway? And you're going to do that for all three of these. So I like to just do the one side, one color first, and then work on the other side. So just rub it all for these three right here. Rub the pink on all sides. You see, you don't have to really worry about using too much of this. A little goes a long way. You, you do want to make sure you put enough. So bam, we got our pink there. And you know, hey, that'll be a, a look by itself. Outline that with whatever you want, like maybe white, and that'll be a look. But, you know, we got to go the extra mile. So now we're done with that. Bring out the silver. Do the same thing I did for the silver. Tat it off a little. Then we're just going to go right on in. And just put that on the other half. Dip in if you need to get more. And then just put it on the side. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, I've been going to Mardi Gras every year with my guy's family. This year saved me a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Because for one, I'm in Louisiana, so I didn't have to fly down here. I'm just going to be driving with them. So yeah, I'm going to be starting my... Well, I started my vacation very early, babe. I was drinking on the road. So now that we have that, so now what I like to do is I like to just kind of blend in between first with the silver side, just to kind of get like a little blend. And then with the pink side, also blend in the middle as well. So it has a nice little blend of both colors and they're not like overpowering each other. So bam, and then it looks like that. Ain't that just cute? Ain't it just cute? Ain't all a sticker? I said a sticker. I mean to say stinker. I tried it. And yeah, you can just probably buy the ones like this that are just one-sided. But yeah, just, just kind of take that off. And then I can use the other side when I need to. But if anything, just put these away. They're very easy. Let me close this. I got the twist tops for it that I've never seen <laughs> to do right. These are a little difficult to twist. I'm not going to lie. You see that? It's a little bastard. I like he won't do it. I do put numbers on mine because I like to do swatches. So I do have swatch sticks and stuff to make it easier for my life. So that's all. So this is pretty much all the, the chrome powders I have. So I do swatches so it's easier for me to figure out what it actually looked like on the nail. And this is about how much you get. So it's very in-depth. Um, if anything, I mean, you won't be really using this. You won't really use this up quick unless you're like doing something crazy. You can also mix these colors. I did, I did like a custom color not too long ago. Right. I'm trying to get more into chrome nail styles because I've I also bought these when I first started nails and I don't really use them that much. So I'm trying to break out that habit. So pretty much that's done. So what I like to do is just like take a little nail kombuki brush and just brush off the excess. And that's gonna also help blend too. See how it kind of blended that out more? Right. Bam. And it did, and it did. And if you need to clean it up, you know, just take a little. What I do is take a little acetone. And I got like a really stiff flat top brush like this. And I just kind of dip it in there. And just kind of shape it how I want to shape it. And bam, it kind of cleans it up for you. You do kind of kind of shimmy it though. Like that. Like that, like so. 
Yeah, mostly, I mean, they're giving shape. That's all that matters. Bam. So that's pretty much the, it's really, I mean, it's nothing hard about this. That's except. Mm. So now we're going to go in with our two Modalon gel art liners. So we have one in like a light pink and then one in white. So first we're going to start off with the light pink. I always like to do the side facing away with me first because that side tends to be a lot harder to do since it's facing away from me, you know, and I can't take my hand off and place it how I want. So I have to do what I got to do. So we're going to take this pink and start from the side. Make sure you put a little, a lot of this goes a long way. Bring this up the side. And just swoop this over. Just like that. If you need to add more, you can add more. If anything, um, like I said in my previous videos, if you do use this liner, you want to make sure that if you do want it to be in layers, that you build it up and, and coat, you know, build it up. Because this, this is a very thick liner. And now I'm going to go in with the white and just put a line connecting to the pink right there. Bam. And the reason why I'm doing it like that, because on this hand, you can see they're kind of, they're not opposite. So you see the silver is on the left, the pink is on the blue. And for this hand, I have the white more dominant on this hand. And this hand, I want the pink to be more dominant. So that's what we're doing here. So you're just going to keep doing that until they're all done. Okay? Until they're all done. I do have some more nail content coming up. I have these polishes that I'm like really excited to try. I have a bunch of other stuff too. You know, also you guys check out my check out my Mardi Gras vlog as well. So my it's going to be labeled Nola vlog 2023 because I I do one every year like I told you. I started going like in what year it was 2020 it was after so i went before the pandemic and then i went afterwards oh when i went after when i went after the pandemic oh my god it was like crazy i went with a friend and it was just for a weekend we had just started the job and child oh we went down there for a weekend we were drunk from the time we left to the time we came back. Drunk the whole time. The whole time. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. We went clubbing. You know, I, it was a vibe. So if you haven't gone to New Orleans, I would most recommend going. You know. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 yeah, I would recommend anybody go. Also, every year I always do like a, a New Orleans set too. So, yeah, I got to always keep it together. But since I just recently started posting nails, so now I get to post more nail content. So, yeah, I'll be looking out for that. So, this is the first nail video for that's going to be included with the NOLA vlog. This set is like really cute. Like this is really cute, y'all. And I want it to be that when you look at the nails for this direction, you see the pink. And then on the other hand, you'll see the silver. So that's why I did them the same direction. You know, I be know what I be doing. I be know what I be doing and whatever. You know. You know. People think I'm dumb, but I'm really not. <laughs> I play too much. <laughs> I play too much. Oh, I play too much. Oh, love. Is that? Yep, that's cute. Yep, that's cute. And if you don't have a big kabuki brush, you can use kind of like a, kind of like a brush like this. It's like a little a nail brush. It's the brush that I use for when I'm doing dip steps, but I also used it for this. 
because I can. But uh, that's beside the point. <laughs> so now that we didn't cure that for the 60, now we're gonna bring the shine. Let it shine, let it shine. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our glossy top coat. And that's gonna really bring out the silver. Now, when I first was doing this design, so I like to always test designs out. When I first tested the design out, I didn't know whether or not I wanted it to be glossy or matte. To be honest, this looks good glossy or matte either way. Either way, it's cute, but I think it looks better with it glossy because you really get to see like that glitter shine effect. Like this isn't like a regular chrome powder because it does have more of a break. You know, with chrome powders, you, they don't look glittery like this. So this is a different type of chrome powder. So just to elaborate on that, just in case anybody was wondering, this is a different type of, there are different type of chrome powders. This is one of them. You can, if you want it to be more smooth and it doesn't look like gritty or glittery, then you'll have to like, just keep rubbing it until it looks smooth. But I just like this look because it looks better and I wanted my nails to look glitter. So we're going to cure that for 60. And just to show you how I kind of practice and see what I want to do. This is like a little fake hand I use. I got this when I was in um, Cosmo school. Um, so as you can see, I did three different pink and gray designs. And this one was the winner. This one's matte now, so that's what it looked like if you was to put it matte. Like, it's still cute. But I felt like it just looked it a lot better like this. So, if anything, we're going to go ahead and sound. We're going to go ahead and clock out for this video for the night. So, this video is done. So, let's go ahead and cut to the last part, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all. So, if anything... Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. I really hope that you guys are like enjoy my content. I hope it's giving what it needs to give. If anything, the end has come. The sun is setting. And I think I work tomorrow. <laughs> so y'all. Um, so y'all okay. This is the end. And baby, this is the set. Okay. Let's get into these. Bam. Baby. Oh. Today. Today. Oh, today. Oh, this is so cute. Won't he do it? Come on. E. If anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe and share. Because sharing is the only camera we like in this household. Period. If anything, like I said, I got work tomorrow. I got a piece. <gasps>